Hello everyone out there, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna share with you 50 things that I do not buy or own. It's been a pretty long time since I last did a video like this. Um, probably a couple of years, but I thought why not uh, make another one of these videos um, some ways that we like to keep things a little simpler in our lives um, and just do a bit of an updated version on some some things that we don't really buy or own. Now, I am not at all against buying things or owning things. I am certainly not about any kind of strict rules, uh, especially relating to minimalism or anything like that. Um, really, I'm just going to be sharing with you in this video um, some of the ways that we you know, save a little bit of money by not buying these things, but also um, just keep our lives a little simpler. We are able to reduce clutter a little bit by not having some of these things. And really it's just our personal preference to not have these particular items. So because I have 50 things, what I've done is I've broken them down into categories so that it's a little bit more of a kind of an organized, um, videos. So I've got five categories. I'm going to start with bath and beauty items. Then I'm going to move on to food and kitchen home, uh, fashion, and some miscellaneous items as well. With all that being said, let's get started. So starting with bath and beauty, the first item here that I do not buy or own are plastic razors. Um, I use a safety razor and this was the best purchase of my life. I got this a few years ago. It's just a stainless steel razor that you can just re simply replace the blades with. And let me tell you, a blade for my safety razor lasts me months. Like I'm talking, I think the last time I had changed my blade, I recently changed it. But prior to that, it was like maybe four to six months before that. Um, it lasts a really long time and it really saves you from purchasing, you know, packs of razors, plastic razors, or, you know, the disposable ones that honestly are pretty costly. To go along with that, the second item that I don't own is shaving cream. Um, I've just never used it. I really just, I don't buy it. I just never use it. Number three, I do not own a scale like for weighing myself. Um, I've just never really been interested in weighing myself regularly um, and I do think that in some cases it can lead to a bit of an unhealthy mindset when we are kind of constantly weighing ourselves and fixating on weight, especially because there are so many other markers of health besides weight alone. The next thing that I do not buy or own is a lot of makeup. So I do certainly have a couple, you know, essential items that I use kind of day to day, but I do not by any means have a very large makeup collection. I've just never been huge into makeup. It's just not something that um, I find to be like a big part of my life, but I know that it can be a lot of fun to have lots of different makeup products. Um, and from time to time, I might try something new, but uh, really I just have my basics. I have a mascara that I like to use. I have a blush that I love, a lip balm. I just keep things really simple. Another item that I don't buy a lot of is skincare products. So this is something that, again, I really just stick to my favorites, my essentials, which is my favorite facial cleanser by Karina Organics, and then like a moisturizer, a serum. And sometimes I'll try different ones. And you know, I will sometimes try different products here and there for sure. That can be kind of fun, but I just don't feel the need to be using all kinds of different products on my skin each day. Number six are beauty salon services. So like getting my nails done or my eyebrows done or um, getting my eyelashes done or getting a facial, anything like that. I've never done any of that before. Um, I mean, maybe when I was like a teenager, I got my nails done once, but going to like a beauty salon and doing those sorts of things is just not something that I personally do or spend money on because um, it's just not really an interest of mine. I just don't really care for it. Um, I did get a massage though, although this is a little different, like from a spa on our honeymoon back in June. I got a massage for the first time and that was amazing. I would definitely do that again. The next item that I don't buy is hair dye, uh, either buying it off the shelf or going and getting my hair dyed. Uh, this is another thing that, um, just isn't really something that I do. I definitely have dyed my hair in the past. I've had blonde in my hair and I may again, dye my hair a little bit. Sometimes I think, oh, maybe I want to add some blonde, but generally speaking, I really love the color of my natural hair and it doesn't require any maintenance. It's so, it's great. I just keep things pretty simple. Number eight are 
hair products uh, like styling gels or serums or mists or sprays, hairsprays, those sorts of things. I don't own any of that. I don't use them in my hair. I really don't do much with my hair besides like using my flat iron. Um, so that being said, because I actually, believe it or not, I have naturally very curly ringlety hair, um, I do have like a curl cream gel thing that I have in my bathroom um, that I'll use if I'm wearing my hair curly because I find it definitely needs some like extra curl defining support, otherwise it becomes a frizzy mess. So I do have that, but like besides that, I, I don't have any other type of like I don't buy hair products. Next is nail polish. So I do not paint my nails. Very, very rarely do I paint my nails ever. Um, you know, I did have a couple nail polishes, but I declut decluttered them a little while ago. Um, so like maybe I have one bottle of nail polish, but yeah, I just, I don't paint my nails. It's just not something that I really care for. I also don't love the feeling of nail polish on my nails. Next are cotton pads or cotton balls or cotton swabs like Q-tips. I don't own any of those things. They're just not things that uh, we use. Next is self tanner. Um, I have never been, I don't think I've actually ever used like a self tanner lotion. It's just not something that I really care to do or really think about even. Um, but yeah, I just, um, that's something that I definitely don't buy or own. I also don't own a loofah. We don't use those just good with just using my hands in the shower. Okay. A couple more things in this category. The next one is an electric toothbrush that you plug in and charge and all that. Um, I think those are totally fine. I think a lot of people really like those, uh, but we just find using just a manual toothbrush works really well for us and and that's, that's good for us. Next is shower gel or um, body wash, like in containers. Um, we don't use those. What we just use is just bar soap. And actually we, I really like the bar soap company, um, the Soapworks, and you can actually just get them like straight off the shelf and you can just put them in your, like a paper bag or, or whatever. And so they don't come in a whole ton of packaging. Um, so pretty, pretty simple. And we really like just using bar soap. And lastly is perfume. <laughs> I do not buy or have any kind of collection of perfume. The only bottle that I have really had that I've actually liked is this teeny tiny little sample that I had of one that was like made with like coconut oil. Uh, years ago when I worked at a health food store, I got a sample of it and I had that teeny tiny sample for so many years and then because I really liked the smell of it and then for my wedding, um, back in June, I decided to treat myself to like a full size bottle, which is like, pretty small <laughs> little bottle, but anyway, so I do own that, but I, I'm not a perfume wearer. It's really not something that I spend money on. Okay. Let's move on to the next category and that is food and kitchen. So next is a kettle, whether an electric one or a stove top kettle that like whistles, we don't own one of those. We actually just use a very small stainless steel pot on our stove to heat up water and that works really well for us. Next is a coffee maker. So I'm personally not a coffee drinker, but my husband is and uh, we don't have a coffee maker. Um, we just use a French press and to go along with that coffee pods or like a Keurig system, those little pods that, that you use. I know those can be pretty popular. We don't have those either. Again, we just have a French press. That's what Sean uses and he puts his kind of ground coffee in there and it works really well for him. Next is a microwave. We do not own a microwave. Um, I also don't really have any interest in using a microwave. Um, I just prefer to reheat food either in the oven or just on a pan on the stovetop. I think that it heats food more evenly and um, yeah, it's just sort of a personal preference, just not really something that we own. Next is soda or pop. <laughs> I find this word funny to say online only because people around the world call it something totally different. Here in Canada, we call it pop. But basically what I'm referring to are just, you know, a sugary carbonated drink. We never buy this. I actually don't like it. I just don't like the taste of really any pop. It's just not something that we ever buy. Bye. Number 21 is, or our meal delivery services where you get, you know, um, food kind of pre-prepared, delivered to your door, and then you 
prepare it again more. I, oh my God, horrible explanation. You know what I mean, like the ones where they deliver the, all the ingredients and you prepare them yourself. Um, let me say, I think that I actually know people personally who really love these services and I think they can be extremely beneficial, especially if you are a busy family, whatever. I definitely think that there's a time and a place for it, but it's just not something that I've ever used um, because I quite like going to the grocery store and making my own food and doing my own meal planning and all of that. But um, yeah, I'm sure it can work for a lot of people, but it's not something that we buy. Number 22 is non-stick spray in those aerosol cans. Um, I just use, like if I need to oil, let's say a baking sheet or muffin tins or something like that, I just will use a little bit of coconut oil or butter or you know, olive oil, depending on what it is. Next are plastic water bottles, like a case of plastic water bottles. I have a reusable glass and silicone water bottle that I love, that I've had for many years, and that works really well for me for carrying around through the day or if I'm out and about. Another thing that we don't buy are straws. Um, I just really don't use them really ever for pretty much anything. Um, However, I did recently, I, I got myself a stainless steel straw because I was sort of in the mood for drinking my smoothie out of a straw. So I did that, but yeah, I don't buy straws. Um, and the other thing that I do not buy kind of plastic related are um, plastic food storage containers. Um, and really, it, this isn't to say that these things are horrible, bad things you should never buy. It's for me, I just find that glass ones are actually just more versatile because I can use my glass ones for um, putting in the oven. They can sometimes act as a casserole dish. And then, you know, once I take it out of the oven and it's cooled down, if there's leftovers, I've just got a lid to plop on top. I just find them much more versatile. Um, but of course, from, you know, an environmental and a health standpoint, glass over plastic can be better in, in that way. Okay, a couple more items in this category here. Next is cookbooks. I do not buy cookbooks. Now, I do have a couple cookbooks that I have gotten like over the years that I have, but I, I definitely don't buy cookbooks. It's really not something that I'm big into. I think it's just for me, I find it maybe I'm just more in the habit or I find it easier to just maybe Google something if I want to look up a recipe or I visit blogs, that sort of thing. The last one in this category, number 27, are special occasion dishes, whether that's, you know, Christmas plates or special china or, you know, seasonal mugs or glasses, things like that uh, we do not own. Okay, let's move on to the home category. So number 28 here is a television. We do not own a television. Um, in the time that I have lived with my husband, we have just used like our laptop to watch Netflix on and that sort of thing. And I will say it's worked. It works. It's fine. It's completely fine. We're, we're probably just really used to it. That's just what we do because we've just never had a TV. Um, we may actually get a TV at some point. We're, we've been thinking maybe we should actually just like get a television screen, but um, yeah. So it's something that we definitely might be getting. But as of right now, we, we don't own a television. Number 29 are air fresheners. It's just something that we don't buy, you know, either the spray kind or ones that you plug in. Um, a lot of those can be not the best to be breathing in all the time anyway. Next are vacuum cleaner bags, the ones that you kind of like take out of your vacuum and then dispose of. Our vacuum just, uh, you just take out the canister and you dump it like dump the contents into the garbage so there's no need for vacuum bags. Next is a coffee table. We don't own a coffee table. Um, is it you know, something that we might get perhaps in the future, but just not something that we have owned. You know, we do live, we moved here into um, our first house uh, about six weeks ago and we do have a little bit more space now, but you know, prior to that we were living in a couple small apartments and we just didn't really have space for them. Number 32 are lots of physical books. So. I do have a couple books, like I do have some physical books, but I don't actually buy them really anymore because I got myself a Kindle um, e-reader. I just love that I can just download a book and it's there and it stores them all and it's all in one place and um, it's like they call it, it's a Kindle paperweight. So it doesn't have like a bright light or anything like that by any means. It actually sort of just looks like paper. It doesn't strain your eyes in that sense. But yeah, I just, I find I like to have everything all in one little spot. I'm also not the world's biggest like book reader to begin with. I'm not like a bookworm or anything like that. It has to be a really particular topic for me to be interested in reading kind of about or I have to be able to really get into it. Otherwise I find I just can't like pay attention long enough to read a lot of books. So, you know, 
But anyways, number 33 is fabric softener or dryer sheets and these sort of laundry product stain removers, these kinds of things we don't buy. We just use laundry detergent. That's it. Number 34 is a physical planner or a, like a physical agenda or calendar system. Um, I use every, I do everything digitally. So I use Evernote, which is an um, you know, a digital note taking system. That's where I plan my days. That's where I do everything. That's where I take my notes. That's where I write things down. Um, sometimes I'll also use the notes app on my phone as well. So I don't buy any physical planners. Now I will say I have heard a lot of good things about the bullet journal and I'm quite intrigued. Like I think I might want to give it a go. Let me know if you do bullet journaling, but I will say I do buy journals though, because I love to journal. I love to physically write in my journal. So that is something that I do buy. All right, and lastly in the home category, number 35 are kind of impractical decor items or trinkets or knickknacks, these kinds of things we don't have. Um, I, I just, I find that I, I really like to try and keep the items that we have to be as functional as possible. Like if they don't really have a purpose, if they're just kind of there, then there's a greater likelihood of them just accumulating for the sake of because it looks pretty or whatever and then you kind of phase that out and you want to replace it with another decor item and then you end up with tons of them um you know we have quite a few house plants we have you know that sort of thing um yeah just not a lot of knickknacks it's just really something that i don't buy okay moving on to the next category and that is fashion clothing related styly stuff so number 36 are belts I don't own any belts, like for wearing with jeans or anything like that. I just don't own any of those. Next are multiple purses and handbags of various sizes and styles. I still just own my one small green purse. And for those of you who have been following me for a few years, if you've seen any of my other like videos kind of on the topics of simple living or minimalism, you've probably seen my little green purse. I've gotten so many questions about this purse. And yes, I still just use that one single tiny small purse. Um, it's starting to actually rip a little bit in the inside. I've had it for about four years now, but yeah, that's the only purse that I use and it's little. And because it's small, it means I don't, I can't jam jam it packed full with all kinds of stuff. Um, Cause yeah, it just holds like a couple essentials in there. Um, if I ever do need to carry more stuff, if we're going somewhere or if we're going out or whatever, I'll just use one of, one of our like reusable cloth bags that we have in the kitchen. Number 38 is uh, more than one bathing suit. So I don't have a big collection of swimwear or anything like that. I just have one. Number 39 are wired bras. I really don't like wired bras. I just find them really uncomfortable for me personally. Now, I know that for a lot of people who have larger chests, then a wired bra makes a lot of sense and it's just, it, it's what works. So I totally get that. But for me personally, I don't like wired bras. I find them pretty uncomfortable. And to go along with that, number 40 are strapless bras. So I don't want any of those as well. Um, yeah, I guess I just don't buy any clothes that require like a special type of bra, that sort of thing, which brings me on to my next point, number 41, overly impractical clothing. So I really don't like to buy, I guess, clothes that you can only really wear one certain way or that, you know, they're, the, the straps are a certain way. So, you know, you have to wear certain bras or certain underwear with it be, because in order to wear it or whatever, um, or, clothing that you can only wear to one certain kind of event or super, you know, trendy items, just things that are just kind of impractical and, and not as versatile. I really like to keep my wardrobe as versatile as I can so that things can be worn in, in a lot of different ways. And that's just what works for me personally. Number 42 are a lot of shoes. I definitely do not have a very large shoe collection. It's not something that I buy a lot of. Now, I live in Canada, so I definitely do have different shoes for the seasons. I have winter boots, I have, um, you know, sandals, I have shoe, like, you know, shoe, regular shoes. So I do have a few pairs of shoes for sure. Um, but, but I definitely am not someone who likes to have a lot of shoes or buy a lot of shoes to go with different outfits and that sort of thing. Okay, and lastly in this category is uh, that I do not buy or own a lot of jewelry either. So 
I have a couple of essentials that I love. I have my wedding rings that I wear all the time. I have a couple necklaces that I really like, but I'm really just not a very big jewelry wearer. So I don't have a whole lot of it. In fact, everything that I own fits into a little tiny little porcelain dish and uh, that's, that's what I've got. Okay, so we're almost at the end here. I'm just moving on to the final category, which is miscellaneous. So number 44 are multi-level marketing products or inventory, keeping that in my house to sell, that sort of thing. Um, MLMs are just something that I am not interested in. Number 45 is exercise equipment or different types of gear um, like dumbbells or other kinds of workout equipment that you might need. Um, a Fitbit or an Apple Watch or anything like that is just something that we don't have. We do have a couple resistance bands which are nice because they, they're very compact, like they just flop together and you can store them away really discreetly. We have a couple of those. Um, I, I have a yoga mat, but I do prefer to just do some simple body weight exercises. We love to go for walks. I like to do some dancing. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm not like a fitness junkie or anything like that. Number 46 that we do not buy our own for the most part are things that we can generally borrow if possible. So especially if there's a certain thing that we need to do or a project or something that we're you know looking for an item that we're only gonna need like once or twice maybe, um, we really try to just see what could we possibly borrow um, instead of just buying. Number 47 are on sale items. So I'm not one to really like seek out a sale or anything like that. Basically just if something is on sale, I'm not just going to buy it because it's on sale. I know sometimes that could be tempting. If you don't need it, you're you're really not saving money. You're, you're just spending money on it even if it's discounted. Number 48 are phone cases. Um, so I just have one phone case that I've had for like probably four years now or so. It's actually ripping at the bottom here. This is by Pila Case. And I love it because it's actually compostable. Like it's biodegradable, which is really great. So I do need to get a new one because it is ripping at the bottom there, but um, I don't buy a ton of them. I don't try to switch out my phone case a whole bunch of times or anything like that. Just have fun. Number 49 are Christmas ornaments, like for the tree. We just use actually for ornaments, Oh my gosh, and I definitely want to continue to do this over the years is I dried some orange slices in the oven, I dehydrated them and we put those on the tree. We had baked some cookies that I hung on the tree, some gingerbread cookies and some shortbread cookies. Um, oh, and I dried some pine cones and I hung those on the tree. And I found that it, it made it so much easier. I don't have a big bin of ornaments that I need to pack away or anything like that and it's it was actually a lot of fun because we got to kind of it was like a creative process and then when you're taking down the tree you can you know they can just be composted or, or you know you can sort of put the pine cones back outside or, or, or whatever. And lastly, number 50 are souvenirs. This has really never been something I've been big on. If we go somewhere usually I'll just take pictures or, or whatever we'll just you know enjoy eating out at restaurants and that sort of thing. I, I just not someone who really cares for souvenirs. So that is it for this video, 50 things that I do not buy or own. Um, I hope that in some way you maybe found this kind of insightful or it inspired you to uh, declutter a little bit or just think a little bit about the belongings that you have and whether you need them or how much you make use of them. Leave me a comment below uh, which of these items you either do or you do not buy as well and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.